This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Eroshizuku Yuyaki. I'll test it in a variety of pens and nib sizes ranging from a Pilot Extra Fine to a 1.5 stub and I'm going to begin with the Pilot Extra Fine in my Pilot 78G plus. All right, I'm not anticipating that this is going to be pleasant, but let's see, since this is such a, not a very saturated ink. Okay, I'm surprised. It has surprised me. It's smooth. On this Tomoe River paper. And it looks pretty good. I'm impressed. All right, that one surprised me. Next. I've got my Pilot Prera with a fine nib. All right. Now this one's feeling a little drier. There's not a there's not a a noticeable improvement. In fact, this one actually, yeah, it feels a little drier than the extra fine. And I think that's why I was anticipating that the extra fine wasn't going to be very pleasant because I've tried to use this before um, at school. I've tried to use Yuyaki in this uh, Prera with the fine nib, and it it just wasn't usable. It was too dry, especially on students' papers that are, some of them are kind of uh, absorbent. So, all right. Now, this is my new Pilot 78G, the original version with a medium nib. I've noticed that the originals tend to write a little drier than the newer version. Now this is noticeably smoother than the fine and the extra fine because the extra fine just has a pointier nib. Now, it's not putting down much more ink, but just the, uh, the tipping being larger is making this smoother. And it writes just a touch too pale for my taste. Let's see. I went ahead and inked up both mediums. This is another 78G, but this is the 78G Plus, the updated version, or the newer version, which tends to write a little wetter. Yeah, and I can tell. I wouldn't call this G plus a wet writer, but it does write wetter than the original, so the shading looks a little nicer. So that's even smoother. So this is the point where they, the nibs start writing smooth. All right, next, I've got my Pilot Pereira with the cursive medium nib. which tends to be kind of a dry rider. It's smooth, but I just, it feels like, uh, 
I just want it to put out more ink. Yeah, look, it's not putting down very much ink. All right, next I've got the Nemesine Singularity with a 0.6 stub. And I like this. This nib's putting down, to me it feels like just the right amount of ink. I'm still getting some shading, but it just felt really nice. I like that. And finally, my um, this is a Jinhao X750 with a 1.5 stub. And I was kind of surprised by this stub, even on the other, uh, or when I wrote with it up here, the Nemesign stub is writing a little darker. This, I guess we'll talk about it when it, when it dries, but the Nemesign stub, the more narrow stub is my favorite. All right, let's take a look at some of the other paper samples. In my ARC notebook, um, the extra fine felt a little scratchy, but it looked good. And then all the other nibs after that, you know, they felt okay. They didn't feel, um, I would say they felt just a hint dry. There was just a little bit of drag from I guess this falls, Yuyaki falls into a category that I call watery inks, not super saturated. So it just, there was a little bit of drag on the paper until I got to the Nemesine. Actually, the medium felt noticeably smoother, but the Nemesine was my favorite. It just looked so much better. And this ink wasn't very prone to um, spreading on this paper. And even the stub didn't bleed through. So that was nice. So it performs good on this paper. It just doesn't feel the best on this absorbent paper. All right. On... My Rhodia paper, I even made a note, the Nema sign was just my favorite. Um, the medium was smooth, the, the new medium. Um, the older one was just a little too dry, not enough ink coming out. It just is a little too pale. So this ink, tends to perform best in a wet medium or higher, I would say. Moderately wet medium. All right. And on the 20 pound copy paper, the extra fine felt okay. It didn't feel good, it didn't feel bad. It was just okay. Uh, the Prera, again, just felt kind of dry. The 278Gs felt nice. The second one, I was going to put that it felt smooth, and then I thought, well, it feels smooth compared to the previous one, but still, I wouldn't characterize it as smooth. Um, the even the stub nibs didn't really feather. And the Nemesine stub was the main offender for bleeding through, but all of the others performed really well, even the 1.5 stub nib. All right. 
and in my loich term it just look at that shading on this off-white paper wow that just looks so good and on the um, Kamoi River paper the whitest stub nib just had some really interesting shading but it it wasn't my favorite there's just a little too much um, of the pale paleness I I just love that nemesign um, this is a this is an ink that you kind of have to play with it in different pens to get it uh, to find the pen and ink and the paper combination um, that you like the look of um, some pen and ink combinations feel feel a little dry but don't give up on it because there are um, several pen and ink combinations that you know worked really well all right if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel